Hello, grooming lovers. Hello. My name is Damian. This is my girlfriend Sanya, and welcome to the first grooming salon in my country that only does neglected dogs. And today we have a young Hungarian poly female. As you can see, she's in a pretty bad condition. Starting from her face, you can see that she has a lot of mats here and muddy areas. His ears, her ears are, are also matted. She's also matted behind the ears. Only this area is not matted. You can see that she has a lot, a lot of hair in her ears. The upper part of the body is also matted. You can see this area, especially near the butt. And the tail is matted. And the legs are also matted. When you see her teeth, you can see that she's probably very young. And I think that this dog has never been groomed. I think that she's under one year old because this hair seems to be like a puppy hair. So I think that this girl is very, very young. We found her on one Facebook post and drove to get her. We're going to give her a groom now. We have to shave her completely, as you can see, the front legs are also matted. Then we're going to take her to the vet. Yeah, she does not have a microchip. And we're going to take her to the vet. Hopefully she's healthy. And I, and I think that she's going to find a new home pretty fast. Okay, I'm going to let her sniff the clipper. Hey. And just touch her with the clipper so she knows that it's not a big deal. And while doing that, I just want to mention that my friend has an online pet shop, it's called Pet Shop Rea. And if you want to, you can check it out. The link of his shop is going to be in the description of this video. Okay. I'm going to start from this place, from her back. With an eight and a half blade. I think that I won't have to use the ten blade or shorter because even though she is matte, she's not like completely matted all the way to the skin. Maybe in some areas, but if needed, I'm going to use an eight and a half. So like. Two or three weeks ago, I made a decision that this salon is only going to be a... ...salon for neglected dogs. And actually things are going pretty good since then. A lot of you... ...wrote comments like... ...are you going to have enough money to pay the bills and everything? And... Again, thank you for caring, but please don't worry. I have pretty decent incomes from YouTube, so I don't have to worry about that. First, I'm going to do this side. And then the other side. So yeah, things are going doing great. And for example, we had to drive 50 minutes to get this dog. 
and then we have to drive of course 50 minutes back to the salon and then you have to let the dog out let the dog sniff adapt and it all, it all takes time and after we finish the groom we have to go to the vet do all the blood tests test the dog for giardia and If I was having the regular grooms in my salon, I won't have I wouldn't have time for this. Okay, this area is a little bit more matted, so I'm being extra careful. And you can see how matted this hair is. The biggest mistake of Hungarian police owners is that, you know, when you prepare a Hungarian folly for the show, you make dreads with, that, with their hair and if you just let the hair grow the hair is going to form into dreads I mean not the whole hair the dog is going to have dreads in some areas but the rest of the body is just going to be mats and these dreads are going to combine together and make a big mat so the biggest mistake is that they just let the hair grow. I think that that is okay with, and that is not okay. And this dog should be groomed on a regular basis and brushed. And if you want to form dreads, you should take your dog to a groomer who knows how to do that and let them do it. Do not just let the hair form into dreads by itself. And I think that a much, much better option would be to groom your dog. You don't have to shave it, but to groom your dog and let the hair grow to like this point and keep it like that it's much more easier to maintain and it's better for the dog you know these dreads are not easy for the dog especially if matted okay i have to be extra careful around this area Again, this is a young female, a young Hungarian poly female. She does not have a microchip. Okay. I'm going to take the template for this area because the blade is shorter, as you can see the space between the blades, between these things are small, is smaller and that decreases the chances of hurting the dog so 
When you are working on more sensitive areas, you should always take a shorter blade. Yeah, and this girl is behaving great, which makes the job much easier. Okay, girl. And actually, this dog was found in a place that I got granny from, that I got a lot of dogs on my videos from. And I asked this lady who kept her over the night and she caught her, like, what it is with Hungarian police? Why don't we, we always find a Hungarian fully or a Hungarian fully mixed breed? And she says, I mean, I knew that in that city, there's a lot of Hungarian citizens and that's why they buy a Hungarian pulley or a Hungarian Vizslas uh, or some breeds that, that came from their country and that's why there is a lot of Hungarian police there I am very very satisfied with my new camera, it is a GoPro Hero 10 Black. I paid it 480 dollars, and 80 euros, sorry. And I can really see the difference between the 10 and the 7. Because I was using the Hero 7 Black before this camera. I made a lot of investments. I bought a new computer, a new desktop. I bought a new cell phone so I can make good thumbnail pictures. I bought a Samsung Galaxy S21 or S20. I mean, I think that 21. S21. <laughs> I bought a new camera, I bought new equipment, new tables, uh, I have a new bathtub that I have to install. And you always have to invest in your business. We're going to shave this dog once and then we're going to give her a bath and after that we're going to shave the body again and make it all nice and even. So if you're watching now and thinking like that I missed a lot of spots it's because I'm going to groom her again after the bath.
Also, guys, thank you so much for your PayPal donations. Hey, 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 hey. Pusti, pusti. Okay, I'm going to use a template for this mat. See, it's pretty matted. And the blade is going to shave under the mat. Okay. Okay. Eight and a half blade back again. And now I'm going to start here from the back of her neck. I'm going to take this off only for a few minutes. Hey, 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 hey. I'm going to shave her head too because you saw at the beginning of the video how matted it is and there's no point of trying to save it because it's, it's in such a terrible condition <laughs> it's just big matted chunks falling down. Okay, let's shave her head.
Okay, match. Okay, I'm going to take the ten blade again for this inside part of the ear. She does not have fleas, she does not have ticks, which is pretty awesome. She looks like a schnauzer now. Okay. 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 Okay, I'm going to do this later. Again, 10 blade for the around the mouth. You can see how matted that is.
<laughs> okay, we took the matted parts off. We freed the head. I want to keep the template or not. I'm going to take a eight and a half again to do her front legs. and the stomach. Okay, these mats are coming off easily. Okay, the first front leg or the arm, as Sanya says, <laughs> is done. Because Sanya says the dog has legs and arms. <laughs> that is not right. Always be careful in this area under the armpit as you can see the skin is thinner here and like glingier. Okay, we shaved her body, now I'm just going to take a little break to wash my hands so I can clean those ears, take a look at that. I'm going to clean her ears now, let's put this back on, 
this side. As you can see, she has a lot of hair in her ears. This ear powder is used to have a better grip because this hair can get greasy and slippery. And I'm just pulling little by little. As you can see, they're just one big piece of matted hair in her ear canal. And if I pull this out, it's going to hurt. So I'm just pulling little by little on the sides. And this is just something you have to do with a dog that has a continuously <coughs> growing hair, sorry. Because if there's too much hair in the ear canal, the ear cannot breathe. And it increases the chances of an ear getting infected. So... As you can see, this was too much for one ear. And now, actually, there's just a little bit here left. I don't even have to use the hemostats. And one more thing, when I take her to the vet, the veterinarian is going to take, you know, that device that sees what's inside of the ear canal one time with Rudolf, you know Rudolf, the white Hungarian pulley uh, he was also having a lot of hair in his ears and when the veterinarian was examining his ear they found the two foxtail plants okay deep inside an ear canal that could not be seen without that device and the foxtail plant can be a big, big problem. First of all, the ear is very itchy. It's very, very unpleasant for the dog. And second of all, they can make a serious infection in the ear. Okay. Again, little by little, And this procedure is not normally painful for the dog, maybe just tiny before the dog gets used to it, because it's not just like you're pulling the regular here. And you have to do it. Okay, that's enough. You have to do the paw pads and I think that the nails are fine actually just take a look the nails seem fine but maybe only those on the side okay Okay, I'm going to put her down a little bit, let her chill, take a bigger break, offer her some water. <coughs> before we get her to the bathtub. As you can see, she is happy dog. She definitely feels great relief now that all of this matted hair is off. And when the hair is from her ears is removed.
we offered her water before the groom but she refused probably because she was stressed, stressed out from driving but as you can see now she's drinking like crazy and that also means that she's more more relaxed now <coughs> Okay, she had enough. <laughs> and she's definitely going to be a <coughs> good friend to someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get her to the bathtub now. Okay, come. <clears throat> so this is <laughs> the world's most famous apron. And if you want it, you can buy it. <laughs> <laughs> for 1.3 million dollars <laughs> oh my god have a special prize for you today 1.3 okay girl <laughs> and this is what often happens the dogs are great on the table but when you get them to the bathtub they get really scared and let's see how she will react to water As you can see, I set the water pressure to like minimum. And you don't, you don't, don't want to turn the shower on and just pour it all over the dog. Just want to take it easy. Make sure that she realizes that it's not a big deal. <laughs> but I think that she's going to do just fine. Mm -hmm. Sun is going to bathe her. <clears throat> okay, we can now. Use a bigger pressure. Ok, 
Okay, we're going to shampoo her two times. This is a diluted shampoo. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to help on this side. Again, when you're bathing your dog, make sure that you use a dog shampoo. And again, it does not have to be the most expensive one. You do not have to use the professional cosmetics, but it has to be the dog shampoo. Because our skin and the dog skin are not the same. And you can she see her licking us. Which is great. The other side. Yeah, I'm going to wash her head. Wash it, Tigla. Sanya is going to wash her head. <laughs> See how cute she is. Okay, this is now for the first shampooing. We're going to rinse her now. And then we're going to apply the second shampoo. And then we're going to apply the dog conditioner. Okay, let's rinse her.
Don't worry, this shampoo will not burn her eyes. Okay, that's enough. We're going to shampoo her again and then use a dog conditioner. Okay, after we finish, finish the second shampooing, we're going to apply the dog conditioner. It's also Chris Christensen. She looks like like a Bambi. <laughs> Taco? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe we're going to call her like that. If Sina doesn't kill her with dog conditioner. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> she has to smell nice. <laughs> Okay, we can rinse her now. Okay, that's fine. This dog conditioner is so easy to rinse. And now we have to squeeze the water from her coat. Don't worry, we're not pressing too hard.
Now we're soaking the water for her cold towels and then we're going to dry her. And I got this pink thing for her because she is a girl and we're going to start with setting the blow dryer on minimum. She did very good for the blow dryer. Now we took this extension off to dry her head. After we finish the drying, I just want to make sure that her ears are, are dry too. So I'm going to use these cotton pads. That's fine. Now I want to shave her paw pads. I'm going to use this little clipper for that. If you have a dog with continuously growing hair, the best solution is to shave this area between the pads because first of all you don't want this hair to get matted, it can be really unpleasant for the dog. Second of all, the mud, the dirt and everything will not stick to this hair if it's shaved. Hey. Okay. 
Ei, ei, ei. Okay, and the last one. Okay, the pole pads are done. I'm going to take the tan blade now to finish the sanitary area. Uh, we shave this area short because when the dog poops the poop will not stick to the hair. Sometimes dogs can get pretty itchy when you shave that area. They're not used to it. And we also shave hey. I mean she's completely shaved but even if you're grooming a dog with scissors to a length like this we normally always shave these areas so that the poop and the urine will not stick to the hair. Okay, so this area is done and now I'm going to take an eight and a half and shave her body again. Like that. As you can see her body is nice and even now. And I have to do the head now. Going to start from her ears. It's pretty sad that I had to shave everything off. 
but you could see how mad she was. I remember once a lady brought a Lagotto Romagnolo to my salon and he was in a worse shape than her and she was like first of all over the phone she told me that he was not groomed for three months and then when she came when I saw his conditions she told me that he hasn't been groomed for six months but I think that it's, there's been like eight or nine months at least and when I told her that she's, he's going to be sh he's gonna have to be shaved she was like can you just save the head and the head was in worse condition than hers And I told her that it, it, it is impossible and she was like, oh, the last groomer did it. And I told her that it was impossible a few times. And then she, she said like, can you at least try? And as, and I was like, okay, I will try. And as soon as she left, I think that I shaved the head first because it was in terrible condition there, there was mud everywhere and dirt and there was just nothing to do and when she came she was shocked but I didn't care Okay, I'm using the scissors to do the edges of the ear. I'm holding my fingers at the end of the skin so I'll not cut the ear. Okay, eight and a half blade back again. So this area around the eyes first. to be extremely careful you can see how she's reacting
Okay. Okay, I think that this is enough and I think that just a little bit here. Eh? I think that this is more than enough for her first groom and I don't want to stress her arm out more and that's it. She's not matted anymore. She does not have tons of hair in her ears she is clean and we're going to take her to the vet now and then we're going to film and tell you what is the situation okay we just came back from the vet and we did the 4d test luckily she's negative for everything and also for giardia so, so she's completely healthy and we think that she's going to find a good home pretty soon. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. And for supporting our channel. And we will definitely see you soon. Bye. Bye.